the ledge. Put her in numbers. Look for your visual. I got food. 10 meters. I got a guy right here. I got something right there. Yep. One more buried. Okay, let's find this guy. Five minutes. What do you have for? Uh, I don't have first aid on me right now. This guy's dead. Yeah, so IPRW 2014, we're here in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and a new venue and a totally new program, so we changed it all up. Started off with a surprise scenario for the group. Uh, first aid scenario is actually an avalanche first aid scenario. So this will be your kind of foundation for the rest of the course. How you felt doing that scenario, right? Really how prepared are you? I'm Griffin Post, I've been coming to IPRW for four years, and it's awesome to see the program evolve as long as I've been doing it. You know, we cover still the basics. My goal for you guys today is to be able to use what's in your pack to stabilize somebody, but if we have a base for that patient, it can save their life in the long run. Get those fundamentals down, but the week has kind of turned into these fine tuning of the different things we need in the field. For some people, it's a lot of rope work. For other, it's deep burial stuff. And it's awesome to start the winter off really keyed into what each individual segment is gonna need this year. I'd like to introduce the uh, presenting sponsor for IPRW this year, it's Avitech. They are kind of bringing technology into snow safety. There's two elements of, of our technology. The SP-1 is a smart probe. They'll basically punch it down through the snowpack and in real time it gives structural information about the snowpack and it's immediately Bluetooth to your phone and then shared. Like say you hit like a crust and the crust is this thick or the crust yeah. is this thick you'll see basically how thick that layer is. We also have a web platform called Avinet. It allows the mountain community to share information in real time. We can crowdsource that information and really help the community be that much safer. It's a big scenario. We got a couple of butterflies just because of the way Ken explains it. It's like everything that we've been working on for the last two days comes into one scenario. And then you think about everything we've learned in the last two days and you're like, oh shit. We got two victims in an avalanche that just happened right now. All right, everyone, awesome. turn their beacon. Right, get your shovel probe out. Uh, there's a pole, there's a pole over there. You got something here? Right, let's get down here. Uh, I got something. Hey, um, hey Dylan. Yo, you how's he doing? Come? Hold C-spine for me. Yep. Okay, we have we have a seeping chest wound. Sounds like possible hurt right on his right forearm and a definite neck. We need to get him the hell out of here. When you put it all together in like a real life situation, the things that you need to make sure happen to save someone's life is like confidence to be in the mountains and take care of the situation. So. Pulse is just getting weaker. Does anybody have time with our chopper at all? Yeah, I do. 15 minutes. All right. He's he's landing the heli. Yeah, it was awesome. I think we did our big rescue here and went pretty well. So not any kind of stress being out with them in the back country. You know that they've got your back and if something goes wrong, you know you're in the right hands. So not bad guys. Nice work, nice work boys. Nice work. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked yeah. to be hanging out with you guys in the mountains for sure. Good job everybody. Yeah. Thanks, you guys.